ready for more adventures. Protests, uh, to the occupation, to the, this is what, what people are calling it, this is a community. Is what uh, the best description of this is it, that I've heard so far. Um, a lot of people, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, just all hanging out, very organized. We got food here, um, donations come over here. There's water, and uh, people are just moving through, moving through. Now what? That seems to be the question. And we just came from a meeting. Yeah. Um, with some other individuals we serendipitously ran into in the park and um, people are organizing and people are, are really trying to, to coordinate around the, where we're move, we're moving into. This is the beginning of a transition that's going to take a lot of time and um, there's going to be some resistance to it and we're going to have to be prepared um, to, to have nonviolent options for dealing with that um, resistance to change. You know, it's, it's fearful for a lot of people to lose, they're afraid they're going to lose things rather than seeing the bigger picture and what they're going to gain in terms of community and love and support and, and being able to relate and be a part of something larger than themselves rather than isolated and having access to a lot of material goods. Um, one, one lesson, one thing that, that really resonated with me at the meeting, um, just this, you know, a bunch of people that don't know each other coming together uh, around organizing and trying to, to figure out ways of, um, of dealing and, and helping this transition to happen in a healing fashion for as many people as possible um, was the, the fourth hoop, um, Black Elk speaks and he has a vision and in that vision he, he explains uh, there are several different hoops, several different cycles, a hoop is a cycle and since we move in spirals, second hoop, third hoop, fourth hoop and um, this is the culmination, the fourth hoop, this is the coming together of the, of the Rainbow Warriors coming out of the culture to make a difference in the world and to, to proactively um, affect change in a, in a, in a non-violent, peaceful, wise, sacred manner. And that's the influence that's now in, inhabiting. This, this is the spirit of that culminating, a community of people who are coming together, you know, in, in peaceful, uh, community in vibrant, inspiring ways. Um, this is what democracy does look like. This is what a community looks like. And people can be, it doesn't matter, square footage, you know, it's the spirit that everybody's gathering in. And um, if, you, if you can hear it, this is what uh, this is what community sounds like, looks like, you know, it can. And um, we're going to see this happen more and more. Guaranteed. Mark my words, this is, this is happening. This is the change we're being, this is the change. These are a lot of people who want to be the change that they see in the world. And um, more and more people are going to see this and be inspired, and they're going to be the change. It's this or a 9 to 5 at, at McDonald's, unless you have to do McDonald's. And even then, mark my words, people are coming out. Welcome to the new, new era. Thank you. <laughs>